box. But first, before I open this box, look at my nails. I did them myself. So, I already opened this up at work. Yes, because they usually deliver this to me in the middle of the day and it's a boring desk job. So, I get to, I kind of get a little bit anxious and excited and I kind of take a sneak peek in before I unbox it for you guys. So, hmm, let me unbox it just for you. Oh, well, let's see. This art is by Drawlander. And you can see the Instagram name. And, of course, the tape took off some of the picture. But I like it. So, what is in here? A lot of squiggly things. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. But we have... Oh, let's get the squiggle stuff off of here. Stonehenge, Aqua Hot Press, and it's a watercolor, and we have our pages here, oh, you have to peel them, pretty thick paper, I like it, so, watercolors, ah, let's see who the artwork is by, ah, oh, is that upside down, no, it goes that way. I like it. And the artwork is by, of course this is the March box, it's by Ely Smith. And they have a Vimo for Ely Smith. So it's Vimo.com, Ely Smith. And of course they list what comes in and how much everything is. So let's see. So we have a signature sketch box. Six watercolor pencils. As you can tell, I don't open it all the way at work because there's still some packaging here. But let's see. How, how do you open this? I'm always kind of wonky on opening things. Ah. So let's, let's open this up here. There. So oh, we have a lot of colors here, and I like them because they look very pastel. And we have a Kuretake. I cannot read any of that. <laughs> so, it tells me how to open this up. <laughs> okay, it's one of these pens that you have to, I believe, take this off and then stick it back in there. Twist off the pen nib, take off the yellow ring and retwist the pen nib to the cartridge. And then it will slowly leak in two. This has to unscrew too. Hmm. Oh, oh well, of course I get it on my fingers. Ah. Now, let's see. It will slowly leak in two. We're going to try this out and see how this goes later. We have a brush. A Stroke Princeton Aqua Elite brush. Oh, yes. I have my first paintbrush. Well, it's not my first paintbrush, but it's my first paintbrush from Sketchbox. So, there you go. And do I even stick that back in there? Yes, I will. Hey, <laughs> what else is in here? Ah, we have a pencil. We have a Rembrandt Aquarelle Lyra pencil. And what color is this? Is there a color? It looks pretty orange to me. And we have another one that's black. What am I going to make with this? Anything else in here? Wait, where's the sticker? Oh, we have the sticker. We have a Sketchbox Signature Watercolor Pencils at $11.99. We have a Kiritake Zig Cambio Brush Pen. Retail at $9.80. 
we have a Lyra Rembrandt Aquarell colored pencils at 220 each so they can be almost dissolved completely with water and we have a Princeton Aqua Elite one fourth stroke retail price fourteen forty five, and the Legion paper, a custom aqua high press block retail price twelve ninety one. Bring out the art supplies and let's see what I draw. You'll see that in the edit clip coming right now. I'm swatching this out because I have only painted or did anything three times out of my whole life dealing with paints or or art that deals with any type of water and this is my first time dealing with watercolor pencils. I'm usually a Prisma color girl and art pencil girl but now I have watercolor pencils and this is exciting. So this is the orange Rembrandt pencil and to be honest I really am not a fan of the color orange but I like this. Weirdly and strangely enough I liked this and that makes it a good pencil I guess because if I can like it well or maybe it's my excitement working with the new medium so now I'm opening up the sketchbox signature pencils I didn't like this color at all it was too pale for me but eh, I mean some people will but this was not a favorite color of mine it was too pale and I couldn't hardly see it but I did like this color and whatever color is named I have no idea what the name of this color is we're gonna say a lilac maybe that's a lilac I'm not sure because if you look at the pencils there's not a whoops well there's not <laughs> there's not a name on the pencils at all and even if you look at the pamphlet, there's not a name for the colors of the pencils on there either. A person like me, I like to, when I have conversation with people, to tell them, hey, I use this color. Like when I color with my Prisma colors, I can tell people which colors that I use. With these, I can't. But maybe I'll get used to it. But I like knowing the names of the colors. And I believe that I swatched my favorite color of this set twice. So I really liked the purple or lilac or whatever color we're going to name this here. This Kiritake pen. I am baffled right here. Should I peel this off? Um, what's taking so long? No, I'm not. Uh, what's taking so long? Uh, what's taking so long? Where's the ink at? So I'm... I'm gonna just keep wiping. Oh, should I remove this pink thing in here? Yes, uh, no, I shouldn't. So, fiddling around with the waiting for the ink to come down because it does take a while. And finally, it appears. And once it appears, I become to enjoy this a lot. And I decide to draw a heavily mascarid eye. I started enjoying the ink of this too much and the feel of it in the brush tip and this was great this is so much fun I'm just playing with ink right here but this is my favorite piece in the whole set with Sakuritake uh, brush pen so yes as you can tell yay 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 woohoo it's how it's what I'm saying right here <laughs> sketch my drawing Yes, I decided to do flowers. I believe those are poppy flowers or mini roses. Again, my favorite pencil will be the one that sticks out the most and is most featured in this picture as well. La, la. The orange pencil by Rembrandt. My first watercolor pencil experience was a pretty good one and it is a medium that I will practice with again because I like regular uh, coloring pencils and this one I can get a little messy with the water. But I'm going to say to everybody, watch how much water that you use. And again, my favorite piece in this whole box was the Kiritake pen. Something black, something simple, but I really liked it. And I hope to bring to you all more videos with me working with this medium. So it's it was fun, and I hope you all like the picture. 
And if you all have any suggestions or more advanced artists than me that watch this, please drop some comments in the comment box below. And also, please subscribe and like. And I hope you all stay on this art journey with me because this was absolutely fun. And I was very proud of this drawing for my first time. It seems soft. It seems elegant. And right here, I forgot to use my black Rembrandt pencil, so I mixed it in with the orange at the top to see how they would mix. And it was all right. It was it was pretty all right. But please like and enjoy, like and subscribe. And I think I am done. Yay! Bye bye.